everyone. Welcome to the next Meet the Menagerie episode. Today we're going to be talking about carnivorous plants. So first off, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed to my channel and my videos this far. Now, all the carnivorous plants that you are seeing in the video today are plants that currently reside in the menagerie. Now, the first question I get asked is, what exactly are carnivorous plants? Why are they carnivorous? The reason that carnivorous plants have evolved over many thousands of years to be carnivorous is simply the fact of location. They live all over the world in nutrient poor soil. And the water, which is rainwater, really doesn't give them much in terms of nutrients either. So they modified their leaves into traps to capture bugs. That is where they get their nutrients, mostly nitrogen, is by devouring insects. Another question that I get asked is, oh, I went to the store and somebody gifted me a fly trap. Are they really tropical? The answer to this question is going to surprise a lot of you. No, they most certainly are not all tropical. Most of the carnivorous plant species are actually going to be considered temperate, which means that they will require three to four months of dormancy where the temperatures are below 50 degrees without freezing the plants. There are many types of carnivorous plants, but I'm only covering the ones that I've owned and have experience with. And those are going to include, but not limited to, Venus flytraps, Sericinia, Cephalotus, Cobra lilies, Sundews, Butterworts, Heliamphora, and Nepenthes. That's quite a list. I will be doing a video on each individual species of plant for its respectable groups, but I just wanted to show you guys the different types in this video so you can decide maybe what your favorite carnivorous plant is. So I'm going to start by just kind of listing off the ones that are tropical. There are some Nepenthes, Heliamphora, some Butterworts, some Sundews are considered tropical, meaning they don't require dormancy and they stay green all year round. They don't like temperatures below 55 degrees. Now, the rest of the plants like cephalotus, cobra lilies, North American pitcher plants, AKA Sericinia, and Venus flytraps, the other half of the sundews and butterworts all require dormancy, which means they will sleep through the winter months um, and go through a short period of no growth and some dieback on some of the previous year's pitchers. Most of the time, all carnivorous plants are found in places where there are a lot of rain, high humidity, and fairly soggy soil. Some species of plants like Cephalotus, Nepenthes, and Heliamphora and Butterworts do not like soggy soil. They like the soil to be moist, but not sopping wet. They will not be found most commonly in a boggy situation. Now, there are a lot of Venus flytraps, sundews, cobra lilies, um, and North American pitcher plants that are going to be found in those classic bog gardens. You know, those really soggy, wet areas with high humidity and a lot of sun. All carnivorous plants require high sunlight and high humidity and fairly consistent temperatures. So just keep that in mind. If you are one of the few people that are interested in carnivorous plants and would like to start with one, I recommend starting with something easy like a tropical sundew, like a cape sundew. They're absolutely wonderful to start with. They're easy to take care of and they don't require dormancy. Another easy to start with plant is Nepenthes. Nepenthes are fairly consistent. You can put them in a west facing window um, and then just make sure that your humidity is about 50 to 60 percent as long as you get like an easy to start with clone like a Miranda or a Lotta or a Ventricosa super easy to start with highly recommend starting there a lot of you may or may not have more questions and I will go through 
in my next set of videos when I start doing the individual videos for each species um, to tell you exactly how to care for them, how to propagate them, um, where they're found individually, things like that. I just don't want to overload you with too much information. I was just doing a basic video to get it out there and show you guys the specific different types of plants that are out there. Stay tuned to see more of the plants in my collection in those individual videos. I will also answer any questions you may or may not have in the comments below. And of course, thank you for liking and subscribing. Feel free to comment down below your favorite carnivorous plant or any questions you may have. If you want more information on a specific group of carnivorous plants, don't worry, those videos will also be joined in the lineup. Feel free to request those in the comments below as well. Thank you everyone. Have a great day.